polls suggest that the race for the Congress in the US is neck and neck. And so there's a meaningful probability that we'll see a divided White House and, and Congress. And under that scenario, we'd expect a perpetuation of the status quo with any legislative initiatives, really the byproduct of horse trading and therefore unlikely to be particularly ambitious in their scope. There is though a, still a meaningful probability that we could see a Trump uh, Republican trifecta. We put the odds of that at around 40% at the moment. And in that scenario, some pundits have expressed caution that perhaps the Republican White House could roll back aspects of the Inflation Reduction Act implemented by the Biden administration. We think that's exceedingly unlikely. When you look at where the benefits of the IRA subsidies and incentives flow, they flow overwhelmingly to Republican states. So we don't think those incentives will be rolled back. Some pundits have also expressed caution that Trump might impose tariffs on imports of clean technologies, particularly from China, and that this would slow the deployment of capital by electric utilities. Again, we think this is unlikely. We continued to see the deployment of renewable energy technologies at a meaningful pace in the former Trump White House. And what's more, since that time, we've had a meaningful scaling of the indigenous manufacturing capability of these technologies in the United States. On the positive side, uh, in the case of transport infrastructure, the Trump campaign has expressed more enthusiasm for privatization of transport infrastructure assets, roads and airports, and, and also for public-private partnerships. So this might be a tailwind to the capital deployment of some of the toll roads and airport operators in the strategy.